Vice President of the Board of Directors of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. And I am here to welcome you to the 32nd Annual Volleyball Hall of Fame induction. At this time, we have 135 inductees into the Hall of Fame from 23 different countries. And we are truly an international Hall of Fame. And that proves it by our class this year who are above and beyond what is expected of the sport of volleyball. And I wanted to take this time to welcome you to the city of Holyoke, to Western Mass, to Massachusetts, and to the United States. And to extend what a lot of people don't understand is New England hospitality. And we would like to welcome you and hope you guys will all enjoy yourself. So I'd like to give a round of applause to our inductees right now, and thank you and welcome. It is a very special night here in Holyoke to welcome a new class of inductees and honorees to Holyoke, where their names will be forever memorialized in the Hall of Fame. And at this time, I need to, to do a little housekeeping. Everybody's been to these, you know it. We've got to thank our sponsors, and without our sponsors, we could not put on events like this. Um, from our event last night at Springfield College to this to tomorrow night's induction dinner. W without our sponsors, we couldn't do it. First of all, we'd like to thank uh, the city of Holyoke and the Wisteria Hearst Museum. Their, their team is here tonight. We'd like to give them a round of applause and say thank you. Elegant Affairs Catering for the wonderful food that you've been having tonight. And say thank you to the staff and remember Kate, your bartender back there, uh, who is serving you. Um, our beer sponsor for tonight is Yingling Brewery, uh, America's oldest brewery. The Tavern Restaurant in Westfield, who is graciously supplied the wine for tonight and all weekend uh, in the hospitality suite, along with uh, V1 Vodka, um, the official vodka of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. <laughs> and we've had some of our international guests last night enjoying them, and they were having a good time with it. Um, Flowers by Webster, who are, is our flower sponsor. And our host hotel, uh, the Homewood Suites here in Holyoke, who have done a phenomenal job. They bend over backwards for us up there. And we'd like to say thank you to them. And a lot of them are local sponsors who do it because they love the area and they love us. We also have our corporate sponsors. Uh, Spalding USA, the official, the official ball of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. USA Volleyball. Holyoke Gas and Electric. And we got some representatives from there tonight. We'd like to thank you. Uh, Cargill and Big Y. Mizuno, Mizuno USA. Uh, Shelby Fourier and Mary Cardiff is here. Are you here? Would you stand up and be recognized? Oh, there they are over there. Say thank you to them. <laughs> Din Brothers, our official uh, plaque and award supplier for the Hall of Fame, a local company. Say thank you to them. PSI 91. Boston Sports Institute. Sports Engine. They are uh, an NBC affiliate. Uh, they are the sponsor of tonight's after party. We'd like to say thank you to them. And if you see some gentlemen around with the cameras and stuff like that, that is uh, the spike net. We've got Hector and Carlos here. We'd like to say thank you to them and welcome them. And 
I want to take this time from me and on behalf of the uh, board of directors, um, Hector and Carlos are originally from Puerto Rico and our thoughts and prayers are out to your families and friends in Puerto Rico. Um, hopefully everything will be fine with them. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, and then this evening could not be possible without our sponsor for tonight's event, which is the Dowd Agency. Um, Bob Gilbert and John Dowd, for many years, are supporting this event. Bob is actually one of the incorporators of the hall and one of our biggest supporters and one of our biggest voices throughout the city and the state. Um, I've had the opportunity to do different events with him to promote the Hall of Fame, and he is such a great guy. And at this time, I'd like to have them both come up to the stage, uh, Bob Gilbert and John Dowd, to give you a welcome. Thank you uh, for coming and welcome to the class of 2017, the inductees. We welcome you to Holyoke. And it is a privilege for me to be up here. The uh, board and the members of the community have worked hard since 19... 77 and officially forming it in 78 and i've been up here enough and as things happen in business uh, i'm now chairman of the board and have retired as the president and our new president is doing an incredible job and i thought it was incumbent that uh, uh, he take over the reins of welcoming and we enjoy sponsoring uh, the mayor's reception so without further ado i'd like to introduce john dowd ceo of the dowd insurance company insurance agency, I'd like to congratulate uh, the inductees um, into the Hall of Fame and welcome you from all parts of the world uh, here to Holyoke. Uh, we're proud to continue to support uh, the Volleyball Hall of Fame, which we've been doing since 1977 when uh, the Volleyball Hall of Fame was founded. Uh, Bob uh, was one of the founders and our support uh, continues mostly because he insisted, but also because uh, we have a shared heritage in that uh, volleyball and our insurance agency were founded here in Holyoke in the 1890s, uh, just a few blocks up the street. Uh, so it's no doubt in my mind anyway, during that time Holyoke was probably 20, 25 years old, there couldn't have been too many citizens, so my great grandfather and Dr. Morgan probably had beers on a, at a saloon up here in High Street. Uh, so we do have that connection to the Holyoke Heritage. So uh, congratulations again to the inductees and, and uh, thank you for, uh, for having, making this happen tonight. It is also my honor to um, welcome the next guest speaker to the podium, somebody that uh, I'm pleased to say to call my friend and to work with over the many years. And he just recently won his fourth term as mayor of the city of Holyoke, and our charter was recently changed. Instead of a two-year term, it's now four years, where he doesn't have to start running for election in January. Um, but it is a pleasure, a graduate of Brown University, uh, one of the youngest mayors in the United States, uh, six years ago. He's no longer in that category. Uh, and I know he hates it when I say it, but in a positive sense, he's been responsible for a lot of economic growth and resurgency in the city of Holyoke. And I know he's been a fan of, of volleyball. Uh, and he, with his youth, it brings a lot of energy to the city of Holyoke. So it is my pleasure to welcome to the podium the mayor of the city of Holyoke, Alex Morse. Well, good, good 
Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to the city of Holyoke and to the United States. I think it's one of the first times all of our inductees have been from outside of the United States, and so we're so uh, proud and honored to host you here in the great city of Holyoke. Uh, of course, I want to thank Bob and, and, and John from the Dowd Agencies. And Bob has always given me the best introductions of anybody. I should carry him and bring him around everywhere uh, everywhere I go. And I, I really do appreciate Bob's partnership in terms of the government relations with the Chamber of Commerce, the Dowd Agencies, and the great work they do on behalf of the city of Holyoke. So thank you both for sponsoring this event and also sponsoring many events throughout the year uh, in the city of Holyoke. So please give them a round of applause. Once again. Similar to, to Rick, I do want to just do a few housekeeping uh, items and recognize a number of both uh, elected officials and city employees that are here tonight as well. They're equally just as excited and honored to welcome the five inductees to the city of Holyoke. So please uh, bear with me. Um, you know, Bob had talked about a lot of the great things happening in the city of Holyoke, and it wouldn't uh, be possible, and it's not something that I uh, certainly do alone. And I want to thank the members of the city council for their uh, support and partnership over so many years. Uh, I want to thank Councillor Joe McGivern uh, for being here tonight. Uh, thank you, Joe. We also have city councillor uh, Jim Leahy, who is personally involved with the board of directors. For the City Council, City Council at large, Rebecca Lisi is here with us tonight. Rebecca. City Council at large, Mike Sullivan is here with us tonight. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Ward 3 City Councilor David Bartley Jr. is here with us. Thanks, Dave. Acknowledge a school committee member and also a member of the board of directors and very involved in the Volleyball Hall of Fame, uh, Ronnie Collimore is with us. We have uh, state representative Aaron Vega, who I think we'll be hearing from. Thank you, Aaron. Also, we have Drew Renfro, who's representing our state senator, Don Hubbison. I also want to acknowledge Kathy Anderson. She's president of the Holyoke Greater Chamber of Commerce. And I also want to acknowledge, uh, in my office, I couldn't do anything without them. I have Milka, Eileen, Andres, and Rory Casey from the mayor's office. And then other uh, city employees, we have Kate Preisler, director of this museum. Uh, we have uh, Neve Fenwick Rodriguez, the director of our Council on Aging. Uh, we have Damien Cody, our building commissioner, Paul Payer, our city solicitor, Chris Ulter, one of our city attorneys, Sarah English, an employee here at uh, Wisteria Hearst Museum uh, as well. So I want to want to thank them and recognize them for being here. Today. So just uh, reflecting again on the importance of this event uh, to the city of Holyoke and the popularity of volleyball uh, around the world and the fact that we are so proud to host uh, the Volleyball Hall of Fame in this sport here in the city uh, year after year. This is always an incredibly exciting weekend for uh, the city, but we also recognize that we continue to support volleyball related events throughout uh, the entire year. Um, I know each and every year we have the opportunity to meet people from all over the world, your families, uh, and we wish you nothing but a great time over the, the next few days. It's the first I'm hearing about an after party, so I might have to find a little bit more about uh, that. So please uh, write down the details and let us know what time it ends. Uh, and we'll, we'll be there. But I just, I really want to thank everyone involved with the Volleyball Hall of Fame, George Mowry and his board of directors for keeping volleyball alive. Uh, in the in the city of Holyoke. Uh, we have leagues and tournaments uh, throughout the year, but I know we're also uh, trying to expand the popularity of the sport for young people uh, in the city. Obviously, we have youth baseball and youth soccer, uh, but we need to think more critically about how we can expand volleyball and make it more popular, not just here in Holyoke, but in the United States uh, as well. And I think we're well uh, on our way to that, and you have a mayor and other elected officials that are really excited about uh, making that happen. Uh, I do want to thank Senator Hummison and Rep Vega for working uh, with Bob Gilbert and the board uh, over the last several years to make volleyball the official recreational sport of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts uh, and, and making additional steps uh, as we seek to make volleyball in Holyoke more well known across the country and across uh, our nation. But uh, as mayor here in the city of Holyoke, welcome. Uh, have a wonderful time. Congratulations on your induction. Uh, I will be back. I have official citations and proclamations to recognize uh, all five of you. And also on behalf of our chief of police, we have official uh, police patches that are particular to 
of the City of Holyoke that you can save. So once again, welcome, congratulations, and thank you as well uh, to friends and family for being here tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Alex. Great words. Um, I'd like to take this time to make some special recognitions. Um, we have uh, people traveling from all over the world, all over the country. Um, we have some of the staff from the Florida region of USA Volleyball. Uh, region President uh, Steve Bishop, who is right over here. Uh, marketing Coordinator Braden Causing. Where's Braden? Braden's back there. Outdoor Events Manager, Chris Hamilton, who I believe is also back there. Um, we also have two special guests joining us uh, from Florida also, the winners of our VIP induction experience. I don't know if most of you knew this, but we actually had a raffle to win a VIP experience, and they have got the opportunity to join us at every event and to be behind the scenes with us. And I hope they're having a good time. I'd like to introduce Rob and Mary Hawley. They're also back in the corner there. They don't have to be, there they are. I'd like to welcome them now. And as I said, we have people traveling from internationally also. We also have the Dutch Volleyball Federation President, Peter Sprenger. There's Peter, welcome Peter. We have the president of the Haitian Volleyball Federation, Margaret Graham. We have the uh, New England region of USA Volleyball Commissioner, Dave Pexoto. Dave is here. I'd also, also like to recognize some of the past award winners and inductees who are here with us today. Um, first of all, um, the 2015 Court of Honor recipient and president of the Holyoke Chamber of Commerce, Kathy Anderson. We also have some past MitNet award winners. Um, 2003 winner, Alex Zitinski. Alex, I know you're stuck in somewhere. 2007 winner, Bill Callamore. <laughs> 2009 winner, Fran Hamill. <laughs> 2013 winner, Joel Deering. <laughs> Joel is right behind me over here. 2014 winner, Rob Slavin. 2016 winner, Doug Beal. Uh, and also, Doug is a 1989 Hall of Fame inductee from the United States. Doug is back with us again this year. And another, uh, we've got a few inductees here also. Uh, the 1994 inductee from the United States, Marv Dunphy. Marv is back here with us. Welcome back. 2014 inductee from the Netherlands, Joop Alberta. Joop. And 2015 inductee from Brazil, Bebeto de Freitas. Bebeto, welcome again. You know, we are an all-volunteer organization. We have one paid staff member, and that is uh, our executive director, George Mulray, who is probably, to me, one of the most hardest working executive directors that I have ever had the opportunity to work with and have ever made. I would like to take, uh, give a round of applause at this point to George Mulray, our executive director. We also have an outstanding board of directors, and a number of them are here tonight. And when I call your name, please just raise your hand and say hi. We've got Rob Slavin. Charlie Diener. Fran Hamill. Joel Deering. 
Dave Pexoto. Heidi Johnstone. There's Heidi behind me. Uh, Bill Calamore. Karen Blanchard, who's sitting right here. Our board president, Steve Bishop. Bob Gilbert. Our current past president, Jim Leahy. And Chris Stearns. I know Chris is there back there. And last but definitely not least, one of the gentlemen that I've had an opportunity to work with for quite a few years, and I'm going to call him up on the stage right now to uh, give a little bit of a talk, uh, Mr. Doug Beal. Just recently, we lost 
Mike Bright uh, from the United States, who was inducted in 1993. Uh, Mike was 80 and um, played also indoor and on the beach. Uh, kind of a remarkable athlete who in 19, uh, I think 56, uh, represented the United States before volleyball came into the Olympic Games in um, paddling, I think, or paddle boarding. Marv, is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. And maybe even surfing. Uh, two exhibition sports um, in Melbourne in 1956. And I think he was maybe 17 or 18, pretty young at that time. Um, Mike played on, in two Olympic Games and was on three Olympic teams. And Mike was 80. Uh, and the final person, um, not, not a, a Hall of Famer, I guess, but maybe in his own right he was, uh, John O'Donnell was one of the incorporators of the Volleyball Hall of Fame here. Um, what is it, 30 some years ago. And John's uh, two daughters are here, um, Debbie and Lori, where are they? They're in the back. And some of you who've been here a lot have heard me say that uh, this is one of my I don't know, favorite events that I ever get to go to, part, partly from, from getting to engage with people like John. Uh, he was, I think, at one time the commissioner of this region, um, certainly a board first, member of the USA Volleyball, first, first commissioner. Yeah, he's that old. <laughs> um, John used to call me when I was uh, working at USA Volleyball every month or two, just to make sure I wasn't screwing up. And, uh, <laughs> keeping track of, uh, of things that he thought were, were important. Um, and he would regularly ask whoever answered the phone, this is John O'Donnell from the birthplace of volleyball, you know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't, they got a lecture. <laughs> and they did, in the future, know the answer to that question. So please, um, Join me for a moment of silence uh, for the, uh, those inductees. Thank you. Um, I'd like to move on to something a little more, I don't know, positive, fun. We have two very special um, honorees here uh, that uh, are, are special to me and I think uh, <coughs> special to the Volleyball Hall of Fame. And uh, Unfortunately, one of them couldn't be with us because of health issues. Uh, but um, the Mintonet Medallion winners this year are, are two remarkable contributors to the sport of volleyball. The first one is Dr. Horst Bakke. He's now from Germany, but I think if you talk to Horst, who's still quite, uh, quite vibrant uh, in, in every way, but able to get on an airplane, I think. Uh, he's in his early 90s. He would probably tell you that he's from East Germany. It's fine with me. I don't want to get into a big political argument. Um, of course, for many years was involved in the administration of volleyball in his country. And uh, when I knew him uh, for many years, he was the president of the Coaches Commission of the FIVB. I think he served in that role longer than any other uh, president of any other commission. And, um, organized more coaching seminars and trained more coaches, I think, around the world, perhaps, than anyone else. And um, uh, I spent lots of hours with Horst, and, and I, I told a little story last night. Uh, 
We spent some time debating, that's probably an overstatement, we discussed the, the relative merits of uh, the system of government in East Germany and the United States. With his wife, um, and we rented uh, a recreational vehicle that he really didn't know what a recreational vehicle was, an RV, um, at the time. And uh, without a driver's license or probably ever having driven anything longer than a, a Yugo, uh, he spent uh, several weeks driving around the United States. Uh, it was a great experience for him and, and a wonderful opportunity for us uh, to do something nice for somebody who had contributed so much to our sport. So Horst is being uh, recognized and honored this year uh, for his extraordinary contribution to the development of our sport within the FIVB. The second uh, is really a dear friend of mine. And uh, he's here and, and I'm delighted that he is with uh, quite a large contingent. And uh, uh, with a little help, I'm gonna ask him to stand up. But Jacques Washim from Haiti is in front here. Jacques. as I uh, mentioned, is from Haiti uh, and was one of the founding members of the Norseka Confederation uh, inside of the FIVB and has probably uh, the longest tenure connected to the sport of volleyball of anybody that I know. Um, from the time the FIVB was founded by Paul Lebeau, 1947 until today. Um, it's been my pleasure to know Jacques and work with him. And perhaps the most uh, significant honor and recognition I can uh, relate to you about Jacques is that uh, every time I was in a meeting, uh, where Jacques was also there, every time he spoke, Everyone else was quiet. That's pretty unusual inside the FIVB or any collection, perhaps, of international representatives. He is now uh, honorary president of the Norseka Confederation, still attending meetings. Uh, and uh, I, I can't tell you how pleased I am that the Hall of Fame is honoring Jacques Washim. So, And uh, let me turn this over now to uh, a much more glib uh, <laughs> announcer here. It's been our pleasure to have uh, repeatedly uh, a young man, MC, uh, part of our program, uh, who was a, uh, gosh, it's gonna be terrible. Three-time Olympian? Two-time Two Olympian. <laughs> uh, should have let me go, go on here. Um, Kevin Barnett uh, has been, uh, I think, wonderful at helping to grow our sport uh, behind the TV camera and popularizing volleyball as one of the really world-recognized announcers for NBC and how many Olympics? Uh, three Olympic Games. Uh, so it's really my pleasure to uh, turn this over to Kevin Barnett. Flew in from California. Uh, apologies for the dress. I came to chop down a Christmas tree for my family. Uh, I, I love coming to this event. I haven't been here a, a number of years now. I think five years and ten days is what George told me. And, uh, and it's always because I get to punch above my weight here. I mean, I'm a two-time Olympian. I feel pretty good about what I did. But the people here dominated and were the best in the world at what I did. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to talk with them, to hear their stories, 
to learn more about them during the presentation that we'll have tomorrow night. I always enjoy that side of things and getting to hear their stories. Many times now, as I get older, I get to be a part of that story where I, I intersected with those people somewhere. Uh, having not been here in a while, it is my distinct pleasure to be back for a couple of reasons with a couple of the gentlemen that are, are being inducted, whom I know personally and spent some volleyball competitive time with. I guess we'll introduce the honorees for this year. Starting in no particular order with a gentleman who played beach volleyball, and I remember his time when he came over to the United States and joined the AVP was when I was just new to volleyball. And I would see him doing his thing down at Marine Street when he first came to the United States and always enjoyed watching him play. And, and I didn't know necessarily the, the, I think the power of what he was doing, what he had done in his home country of Brazil, but then what he would come and do in the United States and then on the world tour as it was just starting to gain steam. This was the heyday of beach volleyball in the United States. And he won 55 international events, uh, AVP, several events there with his partner Emmanuel Rigo, who was inducted last year. I think he probably knew it was only a matter of time until they picked up his name to go along with Emmanuel. Rookie of the year in 93, and an incredibly long career, both internationally on the beach as well as in the United States, Jose Loyola. was twice the MVP of the World Championships, and you have to understand the World Championships is 24 teams. Everyone likes to focus on the Olympic Games and what it means, but the World Championships field is probably the most difficult of all the four-year cycle that the world has. He was a part of two Olympic Games, that, two or three? Huh? Two, three, two. Two Olympic Games starting with a, a fifth place finish in Barcelona? No, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, and then, uh, Seoul? Oh, Seoul. I forgot about Seoul. Yeah. My mistake. But the one that sticks out in my mind is 96. Yes. And a part of a part of what is arguably the greatest Olympic final of all time. I think you could only stick Russia, Brazil up against it now, uh, back in 2012. But 1996 finally. Holland and Italy is an incredible match. And this man was so good at his position that since that time, people have been looking for another outside hitter. They've been looking for their own Ron Zwerber. They say in volleyball, if a player is struggling, you sub them out. If everybody is struggling, you take the setter out. I don't know that this woman was ever taken out of a match. There's no video proof that it ever happened. <laughs> a Russian volleyball famous for so many years for its excellence, for its power, for its, its perfection of the sport. This woman, captain her team to a surprising, they said, 3-0 victory over China. This is before my time in, in volleyball. And then a comeback win against Peru, again, on the greatest stage. And that's what so many of these people have done. They had excellence on the greatest stage in the Olympics. Winner of the gold medal then. Also winner of the world championships. And then had an opportunity to switch countries and compete for Croatia. And what you find is people stick with this sport. It's amazing, volleyball, no matter if you're the level of the folks here tonight or who will honor tomorrow, tomorrow night. But everyone who touches this sport tends to stay with it in some capacity, coaching, playing, mentoring, something. Uh, and she had an opportunity to not only play for two different national teams, but then to coach national team in Croatia, Irina Kirilova. Our next 
next inductee, I've seen some awesome pictures of this man. Uh, he, he brought them to practice one day. And he said, this is what we used to look like when we would do squats for real, not like what you guys are doing. And I saw a picture, as I recall, of gentlemen in very small pants with very powerful legs. <laughs> and excellent hair. <laughs> As a professional coach, you are tasked with a unique thing. You have a band of mercenaries, usually from other countries, that have been brought into whatever country you happen to be coaching in. That band of mercenaries has to be blended with your local talent, your, your players from that country. It's no accident when a coach has success in multiple countries. Titles in Greece, titles in Belgium, Titles with the national team. Incredible run with the Swedish national team during his time as head coach. Titles in Japan now. I've been lucky in my volleyball life to have crossed paths with a lot of fantastic people, and I count this man among them. Doug Beal told me years ago, he said, we'll try and get you off to a good start with your international career, and I think this would be a good spot for you. And I had an opportunity to play in Noloko Mosaic for Anders Christensen of Sweden. So we have all these folks here, which is fantastic. A gentleman who could not make it, Mr. Ji Zong Wei of the FIVB of China. Everybody needs a bridge, every organization needs a bridge. And I remember his time in the FIVB, he was confirmed in 2008 to lead the FIVB through a very tumultuous and difficult time for so many reasons. People trying to figure out how to, how to shepherd sport through a new age of digital uh, distribution. Uh, the FIVB is looking for sponsorship growing, continuing to grow the sport of volleyball, continuing to make it a worldwide affair. I think he was a, an excellent bridge, an excellent individual for that time to return some of the power to the organizations around the world to then have all of them get stronger and build the FIVB to be stronger. And I think he left the FIVB in a better place than where it started when he came in. She's on the way. George, where are we headed from here? Okay. I will see you all tomorrow night. If you are fortunate enough to attend the ceremony, it is my pleasure to be here. I want to thank George Mulry in the hall for having me back after so many years. And I really look forward to this weekend. I think, just like Doug said, this is one of my favorite weekends of all the volleyball weekends that I spend throughout the year broadcasting and, and being at different events. It's my pleasure, and I look forward to talking to all. Thank you very much, Kevin. It's uh, great to have you back. So, we've gone through a lot of our stuff right now, and one of the things we do need to do is do some recognitions. Um, again, I'd like to call uh, the Honorable Mayor Alex Morris back up here to give some recognitions to our inductees and award winners. Alex Morris. Time. Does uh, Rep Vega and Senator Humberson also plan to do proclamations tonight? Yes. Do you want to come on up just so we can move it along? Before I present the official uh, proclamations, I do have. Our police chief uh, couldn't be with us tonight. He, he's usually here, but he did send over uh, a number of official uh, police patches. In the notice um, on our all of our police vehicles, our police patches, that we make sure to always say that we're the birthplace uh, of volleyball. And so we have an official police patch for uh, each of the inductees uh, here tonight as well. So let me just give that to them. It prevents them from getting any tickets over the weekend. <laughs> so 
So I have a mayoral uh, congratulations and proclamation on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke. I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate Irina Kirlo Kirilova on being inducted into the 2017 class of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Irina. Another one on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke, I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate Jose Loyola on being inducted into the 2017 class of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Jose. Another one on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke, I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate Jose Loyola on being inducted into the 2017 class of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Jose. Again, a mayoral proclamation. Congratulations on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke, I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate Anders Christensen on being inducted into the 2017 class of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations. <laughs> Is everyone's hands tired from cloud the clapping? <laughs> Another mayoral congratulations on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke. I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate Ronald Zwerver on being inducted into the 2017 class of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations. <laughs> Before I hand it over to the state rep, I, I did remiss to um, recognize someone in the room. I, I want to thank uh, for being here our new president of Holyoke Community College, Dr. Christina Royal, for being with us. addition to the inductees, uh, an award and a proclamation recognizing uh, Jacques Joachim. Uh, on behalf of the citizens of Holyoke, I, Mayor Alex Morris, do hereby congratulate and recognize uh, Jacques on being awarded the Mintignette Medallion of Merit from the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Uh, so once again, thank you. Good evening, everybody. I'm the state rep, Aaron Vega, for the great state of Holyoke, and uh, I bring greetings from the great and general core of the Commonwealth. And we are the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so welcome to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. In the Commonwealth, we believe everybody's equal, and everybody deserves to get a shout out and recognize at every event. That's when we recognize everybody. <laughs> um, and I was going to recognize someone, but that got taken away too, so I don't have to recognize anybody. It's perfect. Uh, I always feel like I got to stand a little taller during this event. So, a um, couple of quick things I just want to say. Uh, again, welcome, and um, for all your fans that are following you on Facebook and social media, and they're trying to figure out where you are now with their GPS you when you're in this place called Holyoke, Massachusetts, and they're thinking, what the heck are you doing out there? Just remind them, it's not Holyoke, it's Holyoke. One word, there's no why, it's just the kind of flow, it's Holyoke. Um, and I'm sure that when you won those medals and those awards on those great stages across the country and across the world, you were thinking, I can't wait to get to Holyoke. And so we welcome you, uh, and we're very honored to have you here and turn our city to an international city for just a few days. The last two things I want to say is that um, this is a great week uh, of events, but I'm thinking, as you heard, Massachusetts now recognizes volleyball as the official recreational sport, right? And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking next year, next year we get you guys to come back, we get the inductees, and we go to the state house, we play a volleyball game against the legislators uh, to remind them of why we did this. I'm going to borrow the phrase from our MC, welcome back. Uh, I think he called it competitive volleyball time. We're going to, I think that we're engaged in a lot of legislative competitive time here in Massachusetts. So, um, welcome back. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the board. Um, I'm just going to hurry things up and welcome up my friend uh, from the Senator's office, Drew Renfold. We are going to let um, our good friend Rick organize all of our citations and just hand them out so we don't have to uh, go over it over and over. Um, but we do have citations from my office, uh, signed by myself and Speaker Robert DeLeo. We have citations from the Governor's office. Congratulations you and of course citations from the center's office so again thank you all for being here enjoy your evening and I'll pass it over to the good man from the center's office Drew Renfold. Hello thanks for having me tonight um, so unfortunately the senator couldn't be here tonight so he had me do the honors um, it is a great honor to be here amongst all of you um, uh, this the senator's uh, the volleyball bill that the senator and the rep passed is one of his favorite pieces of legislation. We've got a big picture of Rick 
Rick, the Senate pre Rick, yeah, you know that picture? Yeah, so the Senate president, and it's the, like the main picture when you come into the office. So the Senator is very proud to uh, have been part of that legislation to make volleyball the team sport of the Commonwealth. And um, it's really an honor to be here tonight. And uh, thanks for having me. All right. Do you guys want to read one? Yeah, right. we'll read one of these citations so you guys know what they say. Um, we'll turn it back over to them. The governors. Sure. All right. So the, the, uh, the governor has one for everyone here, but I'll just read one of them. Um, and so on behalf of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, of the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I am pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation in recognition of your being awarded the 2017, uh, uh, this has the wrong thing on it, Volley <laughs> Volleyball Hall of Fame inductee, um, and, for, uh, and for all the contributions that you have to the sport. Thank you very much. On behalf of the governor, Senator Hummerson, and Representative Vega. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you everybody. You know, for the past 11 years, I've had the opportunity to stand up here and introduce this class and been humbled by these people that stand behind me who are the greats of a sport that I love, that I grew up playing. Uh, really changed my life. I've been playing for 38 years. Still am, not competitively, but I like to think I, I can play competitively, but these guys are amazing. And to me, standing with them, to be able to understand what they do and what they have done for the sport of volleyball is absolutely amazing. Volleyball is the number one played sport in the world. It has passed soccer. Or football, depending on where you're from. And it's because of people that are standing behind me. And it's our former inductees and the people working to grow the sport. And I am always proud to stand up here and for the first time introduce to you the class of 2017 in the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. 